Hey guys, and hey welcome guys. back to a new episode. If you're new around here, I'm Sophie. And I'm Aaron. <laughs> and today <laughs> we are coming to you guys with a different video. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. We've been doing this ourselves. If you don't know, we're getting a new caravan. How exciting. Busy having a nice coffee. <laughs> Yeah, so we're getting a new caravan. It's so exciting mm. and we can't wait. Yeah, so we're super excited to be picking up our new van very, very soon. You yeah. guys watching this on the Sunday, we're picking it up on the Friday. Yes. So <laughs> it is like beyond time. Oh. Like, anyway. Yeah, anyway. This video is our thoughts on what you guys should know because this is what we thought we yeah. should know. Yep. Um, when picking up a new caravan, just the top tips, what you need yeah. to think about, what you need to ask. Um, what to look out for. Yeah, what to yeah. check. So, in this video we want to talk about all of that, what we yeah. think you should know, what we're going to be looking out for, what we've checked. Um, yeah. We've done it once before, like picking up a caravan, we've done it once before and we didn't know anything. No. Um, so these are just things that we've learnt along the way and yeah. things that we've and thought to share. Yeah, like living in it full time for a year, you learn a lot. Mm. So mm. now we know what to look out for. Well, yeah. Yeah, it should be good. So number one for me, I would say simple, but you need it by law in Australia, is towing mirrors. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, so whether it's just ones you clip on or yeah. whether it's ones that you get Yeah, added. like the MSA or Clearview yeah. uh, for our verse van. We just had the clip on ones and mm. we use them what, pretty much for the first year. Yeah. Maybe just under the first year and they were great. Yeah. They were good. The only thing is we noticed that they cracked the plastic on the mirrors. Yeah. Where you clip them on, we may have screwed it too tight. Maybe. Um, I'm pretty, and, I'm pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one thing. Um, yeah. We personally have the MSA mirrors. They're not as bulky in our opinion as the clear views. Yeah. Um, so they're the ones that we've picked. They look really nice and sleek. And when you're not towing, um, they just fold back up and you get such a good view. Oh, it's so mm. good. Yeah. yeah. So that's our number one. Um, number two would be making sure that you are aware what kind of um, tow ball, tow hitch? Yeah, if you it's require. a DO35, mm. if you need to buy a pin or if they give you one, yeah. could be just a normal 50 mil ball. Mm. Yeah, just make sure you check with the dealer what it comes with oh. so you know. Because the worst thing is going to pick up your van and then they go, yep, it's a DO35, don't you have the pin? Um, yeah, because yeah, then you wouldn't be taking it home. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's a brand new van, if it's got the DO35, you would think they will give you the pin, mm. but double check. double check, because mm. not everyone does. Mm. And if it's a ball, making sure that you're just having the ball, does it come with the other part that you need? So if this is the van, do you have the car part? Yeah, do you like, have the ball or the mm. pin for the DO35? Number three is make sure you check with your dealer. I would do this probably a month or two before, in case you need to change your car around, the the wiring on your mm. 12 pin plug is the same as a van because every van is different. Yeah. So every brand, just make sure you check it. Yeah, and also on that, making sure if you need a 12 pin plug yeah. or a 7 pin plug because again... Well, caravans you need 12. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, most cars I feel like have a 7. Yeah, for your normal box trailers without electric brakes and all mm. that is a seven pin. Um, but if you've got electric brakes or any caravans, you need a 12 pin plug. But on that, make sure you got, if you need the red Anderson plug, mm. your grey Anderson plug for a fridge or whatever, just yeah, check it yeah. all. Make sure you have it all before you go to mm. pick up the van. Yeah. So wiring diagrams you can get off the dealer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and with things like the red Anderson for the fridge, that yeah. doesn't not relevant if you have a compressor fridge. No. So that's like another it's, story. Yeah, it's, but. yeah, just make sure if you mm. need it, you get it done before you pick it up. It's mm. all wired by auto elect, all done mm. nice and ready to go to pick it up on the day. Mm. Number four of what we wish we knew before picking up our first caravan was, this one is super important in my opinion, 
Um, and I don't know if it's been said before, but when we picked up our first caravan, we did it and we were told by the guy who um, sold us a caravan to do it, but no one had said it before we went down no. there. Um, but basically it's to film the handover. Yeah, film every little bit he says. Yeah, because you might come home and you think, oh, how do I turn that gas hot water on again? Yeah. Let me just look back at the video and I can scroll through and see. Yeah, see. It's, mm. and we did use that for, mm. what, the first month or so, yeah. getting used to the van. Yeah. We go back to that video, oh, yep, he said to do this, or yeah. he said don't do this. Like, yeah, really important that you film. Yeah. Because um, there's little things like it's so overwhelming on the day when you get the caravan, you're so excited, yeah. you're hardly listening, you're like, Ooh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. You just get distracted. Yeah. So it's really good to have that to look back on and just be able to remember, okay, this is what he said. Don't turn on the 12 volt water pump while I've got connected to the mains. Yeah. Like, and if you've never owned a caravan before, mm. you don't know these things. Mm. So you just, yeah, you go back to the video and then you know. Last bit of advice we have is get a notebook or mm. in your notes on your phone before you go to pick it up, write a list of questions you want to ask the dealer at handover of what, say, I don't know, how do you turn the gas stove yeah. on or... Yeah, or the question that you might have is, what's the most important thing I need to take away from today? Yeah. That's a good question because like for, before how I said, don't turn on the 12 volt water pump while you've got the water connected to mains pressure because you'll blow it up or blow it up. Yeah. You'll blow yeah. the 12 volt thing. Yeah, volt. you can stuff the pump up. Yeah. So. So, like for me and you never having owned a caravan before our first handover, these are things that we didn't even know. No. Um, and you wouldn't know unless you'd owned a caravan before. Yeah. So, yeah, super important. That's one, one of my biggest questions I always like to know. What's the most important thing I can take away from today? Yeah. And they will tell you. They will have an answer for that question. Yeah. Um, another question you could also ask is, how do I hook up the caravan to the car? Mm. Like, it's different to a normal trailer. Because mm. um, it's heavy, you've got to crisscross your cha chains. Yeah. So, people don't do that, but mm. yeah, you're meant to. So. And this is the thing as well. You don't know unless you ask. You don't know unless you've owned a caravan before. Yeah. And even if you've owned a camper trailer before, again, it's different. It's different, yeah. Mm. So, there's super important things that you can think of whilst you're getting closer and closer to getting to the handover day. Yeah. And these are just a couple of things we think are important to share with you guys so yeah. that if you're in the same position as us and you're getting really close to picking up your brand new caravan, yeah. it's something that you can take away from this video and go to your handover day more prepared. Yeah. One last bit of advice that we have also for you guys that we almost forgot to share. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very like organized person yeah. and I like everything to be in its place. So in saying that, I would like to take a folder down so that when you get handed handed over any paperwork, you can put it directly into your folder and then when you go home, you can pull everything out and have a look at what's important, what's not important. Um, things like your warranty booklet they may give you. Yeah. They may give you information on the items inside the van. Like for example, I remember with our last van, they gave us paperwork on how the aircon works, yeah. paperwork on how the fridge works, yeah. like all of that kind of stuff they will give you that paperwork. So mm. if you can put it directly into a folder, you're not gonna lose anything on the way home. For us, driving down to Victoria, it's quite yeah. far. You might yeah. lose a bit of paperwork on the way, but if it's all the way in a folder, you know where it is, you can look at it when you get home. Yeah, and always keep it in one drawer in the caravan. Mm. Always keep it with the caravan, just so you know where it is. Um, and with your mm. service booklet, ask them, what's the service intervals for warranty it could yeah. be so I think ours is the first thousand K's you get your first mm. service yeah then it's every 20,000 I'd have to check it might be different now it might be different but yeah mm. it was oh every 10,000 yeah and if you don't get those stamps and you don't get it authorized yeah. you don't have warranty no. um, which is super important yeah people think because they don't have odometers they don't need to get them serviced um, but you do. You do. It's either, yeah, it, the kilometres or once a year. Yeah, depending yeah. on how much you use it. Yeah. So, 
those are just a couple of things there is so many more things that we yeah. probably have missed but a couple of things off the top of our head that we've been thinking about this week leading up to yeah. the handover and we hope it helps you guys if you're in the same position and get excited yeah. because we have a new caravan this time next week time we'll be on the way week. home mm. from victoria with a brand new caravan yeah how exciting I'm so excited <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be so much content yep. to come um if we are a little bit quiet for a couple of weeks bear with us we're finding you know our why. bearings <laughs> and we will catch you guys very very soon but if you enjoyed this video or if it helped at all make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you next week thanks guys, guys. bye you will be okay <laughs> so many bugs i know and they're big bugs perfect how do i look great perfect yeah, that folks, I look great. It's hot, isn't it? Mm. It's hot. Oh. <laughs> Watch that chair. That's a dodgy one. It's a broken one, mate. Don't look back, but hey.